All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're actually talking about some pretty good news. I know a lot of videos, you know, we're covering stuff that's a little bit more negative, but I saw this story, man, and I was like, I gotta make a video talking about this because this could be one of the most significant medical discoveries of all time. If the news is true, if what we're reading here is true and things play out the way that they could play out, then this would be one of the most significant advancements in human history. I mean, this could be one of the first times that we effectively treat cancer on a mass scale and the possibility of that happening way sooner than you might be expecting is actually here and this is all coming this article is coming from the guardian the people being talked about in this are the founders of BioNTech, which is a company that i believe works on vaccines and, and different medical supplies and stuff like that but essentially the article goes on to claim that we could end up seeing a cancer vaccine before the year 2030 that's based on mrna technology that could be widely used used and adapted to actually prevent people from getting cancer. And I mean, I, do I need to say more? Like I could wrap the video up right now and it would be great, but obviously we need to talk about this. There's a lot of different things regarding this that we should probably discuss. Uh, it's not really great to just get on here and say something like that. I mean, let's really get down to the bottom of this and talk about it, you know, just kind of on a personal level. I know that a lot of you have been affected by cancer. You know, you've lost family members and friends to cancer. Trust me, I understand how that feels. I've also lost a lot of my family to cancer too. And it's a very unfortunate thing. Uh, it, it's something that it, it's devastating, man. Like cancer just ravages through families. It ravages through so many different people's bodies. There's so many different types of cancer out there. And it's just, it's depressing to know but it is something that's out there, right? And it's something that needs to be addressed. But vaccines that target cancer could be available before the end of the decade, according to the husband and wife team behind one of the most successful COVID vaccines of the pandemic. Ugor Salin and Aslam Turechi, I believe, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that, to be honest, who co-founded BioNTech, the German for, uh, firm that partnered with Pfizer to manufacture a revolutionary mRNA COVID vaccine, said they had made breakthroughs that fueled their optimism for cancer vaccines in the coming years. Speaking on the BBC Sunday with, uh, with Laura Kussenberg, Professor Terechi described how the mRNA technology at the heart of BioNTech's COVID vaccine could be repurposed so that it primed the immune system to attack cancer cells instead of invading coronaviruses. Asked when cancer vaccines based on mRNA might be ready to use in patients, Professor Sahin said they could be available before 2030. An mRNA COVID vaccine works by ferrying the genetic instructions for harmless spike proteins on the COVID virus into the body. The instructions are taken up by cells which churn out the spike protein. These proteins or antigens are then used as wanted posters, quote unquote, telling the immune system's antibodies and other defenses what to search for and attack. The same approach can be taken to prime the immune system to seek out and destroy cancer cells, said Terechi, BioNTech's chief medical officer. Rather than carrying code that identifies viruses, the vaccine contains genetic instructions for cancer antigens, proteins that stud the surfaces of tumor cells. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend to understand the intricate science behind this entire thing and pretend that I can sit here and tell you guys like how this really works at the end of the day. I, I did my best to explain it, but obviously just thinking as someone who has a family history of cancer and I've, you know, lost a lot of people to cancer. I mean, something like this would just be fucking phenomenal, man. I mean, imagine how many lives something like this can save, right? A legitimate cancer vaccine that could be widely used by people, you know, like I imagine a world where, you know, by 2030, 2040 or whatever, you can walk into like a doctor's office and like, oh, have you had the cancer vaccine yet? And you can be like, no, I haven't had it. And you know, they just give you your shot right there and you're protected from cancer. You know, like that would be an incredible world to live in because the amount of damage that cancer has done to so many families and so many people's friends and stuff like that is just, it's depressing and sad to think about because so many people have lost their lives. And like, if something like this had been developed sooner, imagine how many more people could have been saved. But obviously, you know, this is being very optimistic. This isn't anything guaranteed. It's not like, you know, it's, it's for sure that this is going to happen or whatever. It's just, you know, them being optimistic that they can get it done. But I mean, this is one of the most successful companies when it comes to vaccine manufacturing and stuff like that. So, I mean, the possibility is definitely there. These people know what they're talking about a lot better than I do. And I really 
really hope that they're right about this, but of course, you know, we need to discuss this a little further, right? BioNTech was working on mRNA cancer vaccines before the pandemic struck, but the firm pivoted to produce COVID vaccines in the face of the global emergency. The firm now has several cancer vaccines in clinical trials. Terechi said the development and success of the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, which is similar to the Moderna COVID shot, quote, gives back to our cancer work. The German firm hopes to develop treatments for bowel cancer, melanoma, and other cancer types, but substantial hurdles lie ahead. The cancer cells that make up tumors can be studded with a wide variety of different proteins, making it extremely difficult for a to make a vaccine that targets all of the cancer cells and no healthy tissue. Terechi told Kusenberg that BioNTech had learned how to manufacture mRNA vaccines faster during the pandemic and had a better understanding of how people's immune systems responded to mRNA. The intense development and rapid rollout of the COVID shot had also helped medicines regulators work out how to approve the vaccines. Quote, this will definitely accelerate also our cancer vaccine, she added. But Terechi remained cautious about the work. Quote, as scientists were always hesitant to say we'll have a cure for cancer, she said. We have a number of breakthroughs and we'll continue to work on them. In August, Moderna said it was suing BioNTech and its partner, the U.S. pharmaceutical giant Pfizer, for patent infringement over the company's COVID-19 vaccine. Asked about that, Sain said, Our innovations are original. We have spent 20 years of research in developing this type of treatment and, of course, we'll fight for our intellectual property. So, obviously, there's still some setbacks, right? Like, there's no guarantee that we'll ever have a cancer vaccine, let alone even by 2030, but this is boosting the optimism that it could potentially happen. And and obviously, I would like to imagine that we can live in a world where something like that would be possible. Now, I know what a lot of people's response to this is going to be, and it's pretty much the same response that you get anytime you talk about anything that's regarding cancer. You know, oh, you know, these pharmaceutical giants in the medical industry will never allow there to be a cancer vaccine or treatment or anything that's actually successful because cancer makes them so much money. They get so much income from like treating patients and medicating them and everything until they die. They basically have a customer for life. I understand that, you know, I, I've also kind of delved into that, that theory before too, but sometimes it does pay off to just be hopeful about something, and I am pretty hopeful about this, man. Like, I, I would be absolutely ecstatic to see uh, some sort of cancer vaccine or something like that. Personally, would I take a cancer vaccine if it came out? I think I probably would. I might wait like, you know, a little while to like get the first side effects and everything out of the way and they kind of refine the vaccine a little bit more. But I'm not one of these like people who are against vaccines or anything. Like I would go get a cancer vaccine if it was possible. You know, if, if you told me like, hey dude, we got a shot for you. You put this in your arm. You have like a 90% chance of not getting cancer. I'd be like, absolutely dude. That sounds fine to me, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm one of the sheeple or whatever, I guess. But I mean, it would be obviously one of the biggest medical innovations in human history. A vaccine like this could genuinely save millions, if not tens of millions of people's lives in the following years. Cancer is a huge killer. I mean, it's one of those things, it kills a shit ton of people. It's killed so many people over time. I mean, I mean, in the US alone, back in 2020, over 600,000 people died from cancer, right? Like that's a crazy number of people dying from something like this. Imagine if we had a vaccine that could prevent even like half to 60% of those deaths. Deaths, right? That would be hundreds of thousands of lives, lives saved every year in just one country. So I'm pretty hopeful that they can actually get this done. We'll have to wait and see, of course, what the science says and how it works itself out. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about a cancer vaccine and signing out.